Hey there, it's Shell. <laughs> we are back with, uh, uh, we're working on the Eclectic Journal. So, uh, we made this last time you were with me. And so fun. I do have a video on it. So, I just kind of want to show you real quick what we did here. And then each one of these has a little tag in it. Uh, I did get some really, really pretty people that I forgot to print off. So I need to print them off for um, to kind of decorate in this journal. And I also ordered like some Indian fabric, some sorry silk, that kind of thing to also put in this journal. So I'm still waiting. I don't even think she's mailed it yet. So, so excited. Okay, I love these papers. These papers are from Lisette over at Peace Yarn, Peace, Peace Yarn and Paper. Is that right? I'll put a link below. <laughs> it's either Peace Yarn and Paper or Peace Paper and Yarn, but I'm pretty sure it's Peace Yarn and Paper. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to be back. I have had this idea in my head, I know, for a few days, for when I felt better. Thankfully, I am feeling better. I ended up having to take two muscle relaxers this time, but I'm feeling so much better. Why is my cutter all the way across the room? Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I have came out here a couple of times. We clean, I cleaned a little bit and hauled a bunch of stuff to the trash. And then um, we put in the window. But I still left my whole door window or screen up. So I can open the whole thing when I'm out here. But it's been raining. So I was looking for my... Um, pen for this and I do not see it anywhere. I think I'm going to need it. So let me look in here. I know you'd think I'd be all organized, wouldn't you? Yeah, no you wouldn't because it's me. <laughs> Here's a needle. Would that even fit in there? I'm going to have to clean that out, I think. I know I need to make myself another one of those things, but my my pens get so, um, they break, and then I, all my other pens are in the house. So I'm have Clint fix, oh, he's making tea. I forgot what he was doing. Okay, there's a pen. I guess that's the only one I have. I tell you, I'll lose those things so fast. But if you are looking for, like, a, um, pen holder thing like this I do have some in the store in fact I will be putting more in there I think there's only one left but this is really nice just to keep hold of your <laughs> your pen sorry so mine are more detailed than this I think there's five on them now so anyways yeah we're gonna start working on uh, the signatures so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get more papers, Lisette, from your store. And, uh, because Clint's going to make a couple more, um, a couple more did, uh, covers. Sorry, I had to think. I think we're going to have three of these journals. So I'm hoping I use most of what I purchased. It wasn't a lot. So I'm hoping, you know, I can use it on fabric flips and decorations throughout these books. So beautiful. It was from that same place where Gail got her cover. And I'm excited. The one that she just used. Look at that. I just love that paper. I think it's beautiful with the coins and stuff in it. And this is called like red red designs or something. I forgot what it's called. <clears throat> we 
we did just walk down and picked up the mail. I got a, I ordered myself a dress, and I'm trying to decide if I like it enough to keep it. I'm kind of short and fat. <laughs> so I asked Clint, does it look like a moo moo? Because that's what I feel like it looks like. So I don't know. He said, are you comfortable? And I said, yeah, it's very comfortable. And he said, well, then just keep it. But I also don't want to look like I'm wearing a moo moo all the time either, you know. It could be really cute with a thick belt. Uh, this one is when my computer messed up. So I'll probably cut pieces out of that. So, or, you know, we could put this one. Is that the same one or did she do it in different colors? I don't know. The back, I printed on that, that and it looks nice. But there's just one I really want to, uh, to do. This one has color on both sides a little bit kind of streaky but I think it's gonna work the good thing about eclectic is you can put anything in it that you want to right and that's what I'm choosing to call these because the other thing we were calling them it has caused way too many heartbreak too many upsets that I think could have been avoided you know I don't know it's just yeah, just breaks my heart. So we're going with something that hopefully nobody has an issue with. Hi. Hi, Daddy. I think, can you fix that? Yeah, you want it open, don't you? Yeah, it keeps Slamming. opening and slamming and yeah. Yeah, I can. Thank you, dear. Oh, my But yeah, it's... <clears throat> so that's why we decided to change our name personally. In case you were wondering. <laughs> I knew he, he would be back out here, or he'd be out here soon. He's got some things he wants to work on. So he said he would come out and join us. So, I mean, the white pages, you know, I do not like that very well. Uh. So I'm going to cover some of that up. What? Nothing. Clint's just jabbering. He doesn't know what he's talking oh, about. Oh, not bad. I, uh, I know. He asked me like 15 times a day, huh? And I never say anything. And I'm like, honey, you're just hearing things. I'm going to quit. Because then we're hollering back and forth through the house. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say anything. What? I didn't say anything. <laughs> yep. I'm sure a lot of you know how that is. Okay. Old age, I tell ya. <laughs> I tell ya, that's a goddamn truth in Well, yeah. and you don't want to ignore him, but sometimes you're like, okay, I'm tired of screaming at you. She does the same thing, though. Don't let her. I do, and a lot of times, though, it's fake. Honey, you didn't fix it. I <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, look at those. Aren't those pretty? Okay. Let's just do what I wanted to do. Ooh, nice. So I am going to fold these. Um, I'm going to put something on the back. I haven't decided if I want to make like some solid colors. Because I can't print on them now because I trimmed them all, right? So I can't but or coffee dye paper we'll see we'll see what we want to do with that i'm gonna fold them all like this and it's pretty thick paper and some people will just like lay it down and then because this ink will run <coughs> then they'll just do either a spray of like coffee or just kind of brush on the coffee so it doesn't get a lot on the front i might do that i i'm not sure Hi everybody. And Clint. This one I have some on the bottom. I'm gonna ink that because just because Boy. How so Clint has not finished his chair thingamajiggy, but he's towards he's at the end of it. So Yeah, I just 
he's had he had to work surprisingly on Thursday when we didn't expect to and so I had to do grocery shopping all by myself <laughs> but then I did I bought a whole bunch of stuff for fun that we probably didn't need but it was fun hey, that's sugar. I don't mind grocery shopping by myself it's just not as much fun as having my husband do it without me yeah <laughs> I'm gonna make you grocery shop by yourself all the time no well I usually do it so. yeah Clint usually does so I am using eight and a half by eleven paper and then I just trimmed it down there's cats at the door so we've gotta pay attention to those guys and that's a pretty page I love that page for journaling and stuff and then these are like old carpets and stuff but I, I just think they're so beautiful okay so I think I want to use this or do I want to use a white page yeah, let's just go for a white. Because we're going to cover up like this whole page. So, this is my idea. Okay, I'm going to put a fabric flip. But again, I'm waiting on that fabric that I ordered. So, probably the first inch or so, we want to leave that plain. Um, empty so that I can put stuff on it. So... And then I thought I would put something else. Chicken. That one has some really bad, bad marks. I don't like that one. I was wondering if I even have anything. Because I really want it to fold up. So, I think that's really going to work. Okay, so I'm going to cut this down, get rid of the white, and then I'm going to show you what my idea is, and we'll find out if it works or not. <clears throat> but, <coughs> sorry, we've had rain three days, well, two days in a row, and it looks like we're fixing to get rain again. Yeah, it sure does, too. And we got to pay attention to Chloe because it scares poor Chloe. It scares her to death. Oh, wait. Yeah. She hides under the dresser, Dress? which, you know, it's only like that tall. But oh. she, she manages it. Okay, so what I want is, you know what? I think I could do that piece. So these should be five and a half if they're eight and a half by eleven. So uh I'm gonna see but since we cut out the white it's gonna be a little bit smaller. Just kinda take take an idea. Just barely so five and a quarter. So I think I want to cut these five. I think I want this piece. So let's just cut that down to five. Again, I've never seen this done. It's just my my idea. And then I'm going to do about a half of an inch for a fold. And I'm just scoring it. I didn't score that very straight. Hold on, let's do that again. Make sure it's straight. Isn't that squeaky? Yeah, that was. <laughs> That was really squeaky. Yeah. I guess it was right. Okay. And then I think what I'm going to do. <clears throat> you guys know how I love the hidden tuck spots, hidden journaling spots. That's what we're aiming for. If I can get this to fold down. There we go. So it's going to go like this. And 
it's really almost too tall. Okay, I'm just, just thinking, you know, because I want to, yeah, I definitely need to take another inch off of this, which is fine. Just about an inch, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and ink around everything because that's going to be too white and I don't want that showing up. If you're looking for an ink blender, there's still some available in the store. They won't be this color necessarily, but uh, Clint is really trying to get color on his ink blenders right now. So, in fact, I think they all have color right now, don't they? Yep. Might be one white one, but not 100% sure. Yeah, I don't remember. If you had some stencils you wanted to use, now would be a good time. And I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do here. So I kind of have an idea. I mean. And hello to all of our new subscribers. All of a sudden, we got tons of them. So, hi, you guys. Or as Clint says, hello, everybody. <laughs> as Clint says, hello. Uh, this is a little bit um, kind of fragile. It's kind of more flimsy than I wanted. So, I think I am going to back that. And that will make it pretty, right? Let's use like this piece that's not quite perfect. See, there's little purple and stuff. I'll just try to cut it down a little bit just so I can Let me look on the other side of it though actually. <clears throat> so I thought I would just kind of glue that there. Let's do that. Oh and I have to admit <laughs> What? <laughs> Leslie. Oh, Leslie, that blue thing we thought was some kind of cup. <laughs> Clint thought it was something for incontinence. I thought it was for male incontinence. Male incontinence. I didn't think that really. It was just a kind of We a could not figure out what that was, and everyone's like, Michelle, it does. It's an ice bag thing. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh. Seriously, I have never seen an ice bag thing. We don't have ice. <laughs> I see it on TV like that, but it's Yeah, didn't we don't have ice. We have um, a couple of ice trays that Clint just bought, and our ice doesn't work in the freezer. And I just drink tap water, and it's cold enough. And we do have a little automatic ice maker that we use, you know, once in a while if we're craving ice. I just don't use ice for yeah, I don't either. <laughs> so, I couldn't figure out for the world of me what it was. And Clint's like, I don't know. I think it might be something. To, and then we laughed and laughed. I mean, it wasn't, yeah. Yeah, it was a joke. We laughed and yeah. laughed when Clint said that. I knew it wasn't what that was, but I was just laughing. Yeah, but oh. then we're like, oh, okay. I still was stumped, but Clint knew what it was. I mean... Yeah, we've seen them on TV. <laughs> yeah, we pay that much attention. Uh, but I, I know it made some of you guys laugh when I told you what Clint said. Because he's, he's a nut. Should I have put some here just to double that up? I think I probably should have. We'll just use this little piece. So we can't get to the outside cat. He comes up to us, but as soon as we try to give him a treat, he runs away. So we, I haven't been able to give him any um, amoxicillin for his injury. Choose this. So hopefully he'll be okay without it. Well, I'll keep it. Yeah, Clint tries, and you know he comes out, but then when he's holding something. 
because what I did is I put a whole bunch of amoxicillin in the in canned food and he sees Clint holding that and then he runs away so I don't know I do not know but he's I mean it doesn't look like it's infected no uh -uh. so that's a good thing we just thought you know it's, it was pretty pretty bad pretty severe so I just have to keep an eye on him but he's he's somewhat feral He's not totally tame. Such a sweet baby. He is a sweet guy. We brought him in for a little bit and then we put him back out and I can't remember why. Really I, I was going to say, I think he, he didn't want to, to stay in. So, I think that'll be fine. Thinking it really didn't do much, did it? Washi tape. Let me see what. <clears throat> I just don't want it to like break over time. Do you guys know where I'm going with this? No. Well, I don't the right have a side ladder, guys. <laughs> yeah, Clint has no clue. Let's see. Washi tape from my friend Betty. Do I have? I want kind of like a thin one. I don't think we're going to see much of it, so it doesn't have to be. I was just thinking I'd like to, you know, kind of double up on that. Yeah, Clint's like, what are you going to do? And I'm like, I'm not going <coughs> to tell you. It's too much trouble. I'd rather just yeah. show you than to tell you. Okay. Ooh, this is pretty. Pretty washi tape, Betty. Just putting it on here just to kind of make sure it stays glued down. And in this bottle, I have art glitter glue. That's my favorite. Still have like a quarter of a gallon. I'm thinking oh, I better order some more before t before summer ends. Because yeah, I probably fine. need it. And Clint's using it too. So almost as often as I am. So. And but, they don't ship in winter because it freezes. Yeah, and when it freezes, it turns to like a styrofoam. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's it's not a good thing. So, if you want art glitter glue, I do have a link for some in the bottle, but that is not it. Go big or go home. Buy the gallon. Buy the gallon. I've had it for like four years. <laughs> it's held up pretty well. Where's my paper? That's not it. Michelle? I'm thinking about doing Clint's Attitude Coasters. I thought you already told him that. No. Where is my paper? Here it is. Sorry, my brain. Okay, so. So this was my idea. So we're going to glue that here, and then underneath there will be some writing. But I was thinking, do I want to add more writing space? Well, of course I do. Duh. Duh. So let me grab some. What do I need? Coffee dyed paper. I don't think I have any right here. Okay, guys. So, hold on, let me plug this in. I know it's annoying. There we go. Uh, I found this green. I was going to do coffee dye paper, but since we're going eclectic, I want to, you know, do as much color as I can. And I couldn't find the other ones I was looking for, so I don't know if I'm out of that color. So, I'm going to cut this down. This was some kind of wrapping paper for one of my packs packages or something was wrapped in it. <clears throat> Someone may have sent it to me. I'm not sure. Might have just 
and something I saved from the garbage. I'm actually doing a wood burning project. My first real non wood thing. Yeah, since he That's, wants to play with wood. So. Yeah, I'm tracing. He's over there doing some tracing. I think you could write on this and it would be fine. We'll try it. I have a pen. I, got I a had pen. a pen. You know, my whole desk is over here. Yeah, so I mean, just a plain old pen, you can see that. Uh -huh. So that's a good thing. Oh, man. <coughs> you need the iron. Nah, I ain't worried about it. I need to look my iron with I'm not worried about it. Okay. Well, it's going to be inside. I like I clean my iron. It's going to be inside this journal. Yeah. And it's going to be flat, so it'll iron itself eventually. The person in the background is Clint. He's my better half. You better say that one. <laughs> I didn't want to, but I did. I know, right, Suzanne? I can hear her now. You better be nice to him. Be nice to Clint, baby. Okay, let's see what we have. I think that's getting pretty good in there. Let's see if we can use the whole one. Oh. Hi, Suzanne, by the way. Hi, Suzanne. She's being okay. She's not being too <coughs> bad. Yeah, I'm okay, Suzanne. You don't have to yell at me. Yell at her. I don't care. <laughs> What about Honey Hush, honey, for a, for a thing? First line, Honey Hush, you talk too much? Yeah. Mm. For a coaster? I don't know. I might do that as a sign. That might be kind of funny. Okay, so my thought was to have it, let's see, back here. <coughs> I think that, that is what I'll do, but I want it to be smaller than that so that this lays, you know, pretty. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> pretty flat, so you can see. That's... I go see the doctor Tuesday at 4. Yeah. So. We hope. I don't care. I'm calling someone they can cover it, whatever. Oh, yeah. now we'll be back. At least it isn't in the morning. Yeah, we do have a Locate Tuesday in Durango. Yeah, it's gonna be a. It's gonna be close, right? Well. Is that the one, the whole outside of the. Yeah, where he's doing that and everything. and everything. Yeah. Where he's the one that is the relative cop's fingers. Oh, yeah. uh, yes. I remember that. Yeah. yeah, he's the one that he said his. They got a phone call that night after Clint cut his finger. And the relative or whatever had cut off all four of their fingers and were not able to reattach. Ugh. Couldn't imagine. I think he must, he had to fall or something. That just is crazy. I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, it's just I just don't see how else, you know. I just don't know. Maybe the wood hit a soft spot and it just went really fast. And, and pulled him in. Pulled it, you know, Ugh. I mean. You know, that happens, you know, that wood, you may have a soft spot in it, and else then will go through that blade super fast, and... I don't know, but... Ugh. It's bad enough to see Clint. I couldn't even imagine seeing my husband yelling at me, Come here! And all of his fingers are still just sitting there. <laughs> I know, that's a, gr a gruesome picture, isn't it? I just to, Honey, I cut my finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I did. Hun, I cut my finger. He just said, hun, and I could tell by the sound of his voice that... I wasn't frantic. I just no, was calm. No, it was just, just... Yeah. Yeah, I didn't feel like come running in. Crap, hun, I just cut my finger off. Yeah, he didn't do that. It was just like, hun. Just a little bit more. You could tell in the tone of... I could tell. Probably no one else would have, but... I was like, what happened? <laughs> I was just out there fixing and telling, be careful. 
but he usually just kind of shrugs me off when I say that. I will, I will. We're safety glasses. Okay. And then when he gets stuff in his eyes, then he's like, Honey. Ow. I didn't wear the safety glasses. I just say, Hun, can you put some stuff in my eye, please? Sure. Oh, I still put it in the wrong, didn't I? Oh, I'm no. not. Uh, I'll refold it. I don't get hysterical on things. It's just, is what it is. Let's see if I can work. It talked to someone. He had something, a piece of metal in his eye. And he has a, had to use a magnet to get it out. Hmm. It actually was stuck in his eye. That sounds gross. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like, thank God I don't play with metal. Clint likes to disturb me when I'm trying to show you guys that's something. That's just the way it is. Sorry, guys. That's why I try to make videos when he's not around. Oh, okay. <laughs> Except he's always around, so maybe I don't try. She doesn't. If I'm not around, she doesn't know what to do. She's lost. Oh, so I'm don't so lost. Let her buffalo you. So lost. Or, oh, I love smoke. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. If this, but look, it's a little bit, um, that's okay. We can just push it up all the way, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this, <clears throat> and hopefully it will work the way I want it to. Should have glued this down first, I think. That's straight. Yeah, I thought I needed to glue that and then put that on there. I like that color. Isn't that a pretty color, the green? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have I don't know. Weren't you just listening? I explained to him that I had no idea where it came Honey, from. Honey, I'm tracing. I ain't paying no attention. <laughs> I'm not I can't do two things like that. I was time. thinking we just discussed that. I'm concentrating. It's hard. Okay, so now, <laughs> uh, okay, so I need something that is going to hold that down because even though we're going to have the thing there, I think just my original idea, which is just a little tab, <coughs> tab, tab of some sort, what I was thinking. I'm just checking this to see if that's a good idea. Can you guys even see what I've been doing? And kind of something like that. And then we'll slide it under. I think that would work. And I can use that whole little piece. And if my fabric flip goes there and so we sew over it, that would be fine. Okay. Is that something I'm supposed to make? Nope. Something I'm waiting on my fabrics to make. Oh, that was what you were talking about, baby. I forgot. Give me a break. I didn't say anything. Yeah, but you laughed. You don't have to say anything. Laughing is the same thing as saying something. Oh. So, I did. My headache was going away. She's so full of it. Tell you what I put up with, guys. Suzanne would say, for what Clint puts up with. Suzanne, if you were here, you would know that I get the worst end of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You're so, you're so full of it. <laughs> it helps that you delude me. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. I'm excited about trying this, you know, wearing the shade and Learn new techniques for this wood brain. Yeah. I really like that. <clears throat> and stuff. So yeah, so all I'm going to do now is just, and even, you know, it'd probably even be best if I did um, sew over it when I'm putting in my fabric tuck spot. So that, you know, we have that extra 
So I have to <coughs> grab some fabric and show you. Does see. that have to be anything fancy? Oh. Maybe I could make one out of this. We'll see. I don't think so, though. I don't have a lot of bright and shiny items. Oh, there's my scissors I was looking for this morning. Which ones are they? <laughs> but so, yeah, it would go like this. Oh, that awesome. Like if it was doubled or something, that would look pretty. And it would just hang, and I'd probably just do it like, like about here you know and that would hang you'd see a little bit there that's neat color too that's perfect and then it would we would have this pop out i do want to ink around that edge though while i'm thinking about it so yeah that's kind of kind of what i have planned for that and then this will just go under there and then once we sew it it will be much better and sturdier. So let me ink this. I know it's just a little thing and you really can't see it much, but it does kind of add a little bit of grunginess to it, which I kind of like. Well, and yeah, I mean, just because it don't add, you don't make like this glorious difference. It just adds enough to where maybe you don't recognize it, but it just brings it together. Yeah, that. What Clint said, could you guys even hear him? Yeah, I'm not that far away from that pen. Oh, maybe okay. I am. I forgot uh, you moved it. I was looking over here. Yeah, but I only moved it like six, yeah. in, six inches. So. Yeah. so that is the plan for this one. And let's see what else I had. I had another plan. I have to think for a minute. Hush. What's the okay, thing? Okay, let's make two envelopes because you guys loved those envelopes I made the other day. So I'm going to make two more and for something different. So here is my envelope punch board. Whoop, whoop. Sorry. I apologize. <coughs> I'm behaving. I'm trying to behave. I'm not necessarily am behaving. Okay. I'm going to cut it uh, uh, six and three quarters square. Is that right? Six and three quarters. Okay. You can whoop, whoop or whatever you're doing. No, uh, I want them a little bit different than those ones, so I know I need two different ones, right? Let's use this one too, so maybe this one and this one, because this one has some lighter colors in it, so, and this is the one that <clears throat> the back didn't quite turn out right, so because of our printer. I tell you, it can be. Clint went to print. Tickets, tickets, which are and just plain and simple black and white words. It's all here. And there was no, nothing was coming on, oh, coming in on so it. Bad. So I had to clean it like four times before the black and white words would show up. So just, just plain old black. Probably a hairball or something in it. Yeah, that so could be. As many cats are up there and they love laying on top. It's probably working itself into it. Okay, so I don't want to double up on these because I think it would be too thick. But, would I say six and three quarters? Sure. Are you listening to me? Just kidding. I wasn't. No, I was supposed to be even. <laughs> Whatever. Six and three quarters. I was behaving. Oh, I was. You were not. You just weren't paying no attention. No, I... <laughs> you just don't know what to do when I behave. I know, it's kind of scary. Oh, it's just so out of the ordinary. It is, too. I'm excited, though, for this journal. I love really bright colors and stuff, and I'm really excited to try it. It'd be neat. Really, it'll be interesting. You know, just something different. Sometimes you just want something different instead of and that's the cover I'm country in, right? or whatever, yeah. I gotta make those others too. I know, I already told them. How many are there? Two or three? I think Fifteen. I got, I got, I think I got fabric for three when I was doing it. Yeah, you could do three more. Okay, so if I cut them right, then we'll use our envelope punch board. 
that. Of course, I didn't put my little thing back in. I am the most organized person in the world. I'm un unorganized on purpose, just for you, Darcy. Darcy's my kind of person. <laughs> I love watching her. She does live videos, and yeah, she cracks me up. You guys have to go and check her her out. Her her video, yeah. Okay, so six and three quarters, and then we're gonna score it two and three quarters. And I'm gonna go on the white because I can see my um, lines much better. Because then all you're gonna do is line that up. And I hope this is the right size. And it said three by five, which I thought would be about perfect because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them on a page. This was just another idea I came up with. So before I go any further, I'm gonna fold it and double check that it is the right size, but I do want to. And everything I, I use for the most part is linked down below in the description. Just kind of read through and I really want to move things to a, um, a website with pictures. I think that would be easier for everybody because it's getting kind of full down there. But I haven't made time to do that yet. I think that will work, huh? Ooh, looks nice. So, surely this will fit where I want it to fit, right? Yeah. So, and I mean, with this, you can kind of rearrange it if you want that on the top, which I think I like that best. And then my pages, which I have one folded, it's not that one. Just want to make sure the page is going to fit. That is oh, too, too big, though, for what I want to do. Which, the envelope or the page itself? The page itself. But, where's my coffee dead paper. I just had some. Oh, I don't have I found it. I'm going to use this and fold it because I didn't cut anything off of these and this is the size journal we're using. And I might go through my scrapbook paper and see what papers I have that maybe I could use for this journal too. With these journals. Okay. So let me just see if this would work at all. <clears throat> it's going to be really tight, isn't it? I almost need to go down smaller. So let that? me do six by six. So we're going to save this. This was a six and three quarter. So I'm going to make a three by four instead of three by five. So let me just cut this one down. And maybe this one, we'll see if that, if we can do it on that. We're going to save that because we're not wasting well, this gorgeous no paper. Exactly. Oh, yeah. You tell him, baby. Yep. Clint, baby. I wonder if that's why she calls you Clint, baby, because I always say, say that. <laughs> oh, do you? You tell him, baby, I guess. I oh, yeah, know. I'm sure you do. I do not know. What is windy, isn't it? Tell me had rain. Did I cut that down to six or did I cut it down to five? Six. Okay. This one is not going to work then. It's not six. Okay. Let's. Oh, maybe I printed that twice. Yeah, no, so it's different. I should have liked that. That was. Uh, Lissettes. Lissettes. Yeah. Beautiful. Paper, yarn. No, piece, yarn, and paper. Pa yeah. I think. Yeah. We'll be linked below because whenever I'm using someone's papers and stuff. I like to make sure and give them credit. Yep. Show the love, people. Show the love. Yes. Oh, that'd be a good one, huh? Sure. Show the love. Show the love. That's a good one. That's a good one, baby doll. Of course, I don't have my ink over. Okay, like six that. inches. So this will make it about an inch shorter, which I think would work better with what I'm doing. 
just choosing the best colors or the colors I want to use for this. Okay, let's try this. Getting tons of scraps, so that's fun. And by buying a digital, you can print them out more. You know, you don't have to just print them out one time. You can print them out five times. I mean, read, read in their descriptions, but, you know, usually as long as you don't use it more than, what, a hundred times in a year, then you're safe. So, two and five eighths on this one. So, we just... Hopefully this one will work because it has to, it's going to be like a flip over on the um, page. So I need. Did we know I don't give a rat test time? We did. Okay. Yeah, Robin, Robin says she can't wait to get it. So yep, I was it's on the way, now. Robin. It's on the way. I meant to tell you that, but I forgot. Are you telling her? I will. Right. It's really nice and cold. In fact, I think this is day two. We have not had to use a um, air air conditioner. Well, we do in the bedroom. Yeah. But, but it's just because we can't sleep without with it being too hot, you know. Yeah. Just want this to be a little bit smaller. Yeah, it's about an inch smaller. So let me go ahead and do this one. <coughs> Two and five eighths. Now down here it tells you what you're going to score, and you're only going to score. This one might be hard to see, but you're only going to score on the very first one, and then the rest of them you just connect your line or look at your line, and I'll show you that. So you have your line. Like I said, it's hard to see on this one. So when it's hard, I just fold it, and then this little duba right here, you're going to line that up. Just make sure it's up to that and then you're going to score so you only you know do it for the first one sometimes people get confused on how to use all these little trinkets doodads that's the word i was doodads and then but sometimes if you just kind of fold it it's easier It does have a corner rounder back here, but I don't mind, you know, I like my individual one that Miss Lizette happened to send me. In fact, I didn't know who it was from. There was no note, and I was watching her channel, and she had one. I'm like, did you send me that? <laughs> and she did, yeah. It was funny. I got one just like that, <laughs> and I love it. Okay. Sorry, my nose is itching. I know, I know. I have a big problem. As Clint would say. I'm behaving. Quit putting words in my mouth, woman. <laughs> oh, wait, that might be me saying that. It would be you saying that, exactly. So, all you need is two envelopes. You can, you know, if you don't want to make them uh, and you have some in your stash, then by all means, just pull out two envelopes, decorate them. And you can do this project. Again, this is just one I was thinking about. I've been thinking about this journal a lot. Because I never make one, you know, that are this colorful. Usually I do pinks or tans or once in a while blue. <coughs> What's our time looking? going to go over it looks like doesn't it Absolutely. just a little bit I think or we might wrap it up here I don't know should be right at 50 minutes so I have 10 left and I think I want this to go like this I like that like what that voice bear thing I never read it. if you can't make it better you can laugh at it <laughs> oh that's the truth in it yeah, I think my mom got me that, or the, I think she got, might have got me the big one on the bottom, I don't know, behind it. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's a good saying. Yep. If you can't make it better, you can laugh at it. That's the way I am with the pain. 
Yeah. Can't cry. I just laugh. Yeah, poor Clint. He's in so much pain. He has fibromyalgia and back issues and all kinds of all kinds of issues. Okay, so what I want here is we're gonna want something to keep this in place. So you know what we could do is just a little um, flat. Let's see what I have over here. I have, three sides, huh? I have this one just now. Yeah. Wow. Is it empty, the sign? I don't know. And we'll just do that. That'll kind of add a little bit. Let's ink it. I was thinking about putting those little circles and then you could, you know, put a circle here, circle here, and then kind of wind some um, fabric or string around it. Kind of hard, hard to see there. I think I'm just going to do like this on both sides. This glue is, um, does dry clear. So, I don't mind if I just kind of, there we go. And then on this one, I could do that, or I think I even have some of that over here. Yeah. Perfect. Use the inside color. <clears throat> there we go. Look at that. Kind of cute. Yeah, I've been dying to get out here and do some crafting. Oh, I bet. I haven't crafted really in. I haven't done anything. Oh, I, I have drawn a little bit. Yeah, that's I, uh, I haven't been feeling very good and. To take take too many muscle relaxers for my neck. That's why I did them. I just you know. Yeah, so Clint covers for me whenever it's really bad. I did get the sewing machine in the house, so I'm gonna work on my the pink and gray one. Yeah. yeah did get his car back. I think I told you guys that in the yeah, last we, one of the last videos. Let's ink this real quick definitely don't have to do that but the way I look at it you know it's going to be you know um, maybe it's traveled a lot I kind of want it to look worn and kind of like it's it's been around and this just adds such a pretty touch and I just use uh, vintage photo distress ink I don't use the oxide though you could I just use or you could, you know, you can use whatever color you want. That's, I just use the vintage photo. And I've had it since they came out, which is funny. There we go. Okay, and this one. But I just like the addition. I hit that wrong. <laughs> okay, get in there. I love this. I love this look. But I did see somebody else making a real colorful journal, and she switched to walnut ink, oh, which really? is yeah, it's a darker, <laughs> and she said it kind of brought it out even better. So we might try that later. Did she make that or did she buy it? Walnut ink? No, it was, or it's called walnut stain. Oh, it's, it's, it's a distress ink. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, maybe she made walnut ink. I'm sure you could though. It's well, probably. I don't know, but there's a class that I w would love to take, and they make different inks from different things. Kind of thing. Yeah, I think that'd be really fun. I remember that shirt you bought me? It was kind of a pinkish color, and it's, it was made in Moab from the Red Rock. From the wood. I mean, from the dirt and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Clint told me to bring him back a dirty T-shirt, so I did. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. It was good. Literally.
Okay, so that's my idea. I'm not done yet. Almost. And I think I can finish this with what I have on hand. So I am working in. <coughs> This orange is, isn't that beautiful? I think it would fold over like that. But I don't know if I want to use that or... I think I do though. I think that's all I have out here. I haven't even brought out my... Um, and we could probably use that, but I need it to fold over. You know, that might work. Let's try that. So I'm just going to trim it right here. <coughs> and where is I need my Fabri-Tac and I need those clippies from Miss Leslie. I think I'm going to need some help with this. Okay. You need help? No, I mean from my um, the clips, yeah. I'm going to try to use Fabri-Tac. I need to order more of this. I don't use a lot of Fabri-Tac, but when it's really um, thick, you know, or something that's kind of built up, I kind of want something a little thicker. And so I'm doing it on the back, on the top. So, there we go. And that's really going to sit nicely. Then I'm just going to put about half of it here. And I'm going to go ahead and trim it. make sure it looks nice when it's done and then we'll do this on the top on the back again hopefully that didn't go down too far there we go. <coughs> might not need those clips because it might just uh, it up about the same. I really want it to have a little space in between. Yeah, I think it'll work once it's dry. So let's give that a minute. Let me clean up my, my napkin. doesn't take too long for the Fabri-Tac to, to dry. I'm going to kind of clean that up. I kind of have it smudging. A little bit smudged, but not too bad. Okay. And then that's going to fold together and be like that. Not perfect, but I think it'll be just fine. Huh. Oh, it didn't glue that part down. I'm going to use some art glitter glue for that. Now, can you sew through that? That that. Fabric. I. Uh, <coughs> I don't know if you. I would. I don't think I would. 
don't personally. Think I don't think I'd want to. See, I, I didn't need those it, clips anyways. I think it might destroy your... It might mess up your needle. It I don't, might even break a needle. I don't know how that works. And, I mean, it's really, instead of using the sewing machine, that's kind of what, what it's for. for yeah. yeah. You can sew through the hard glitter glue, just to remember it is hard. It does but get hard, yeah. It, it, Clint, Clint sews mine, through it. Yeah, my, my sewing machine will go through it, so. Might have to put something. That's kind of really smudgy looking. So maybe on one of these sides. Let me see. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to let it dry for now, and we'll revisit that because we're getting kind of kind of late. But my idea was to just have these little envelopes. And they'll kind of hang over your page like oh, that. Oh, tell me about that. Yeah, isn't that kind of cute? Yeah, I like that. Neat. And then it will just, you know, you could decorate it more. And we might, we might do that when we get our other fabrics and stuff. But I thought that would be kind of pretty. Just use some really bright fabric and maybe some bright paper. And then you could put just little notes or you know, pieces of ephemera inside each one of these to make a journaling spot. So yeah, isn't that cute? I love that. So we made that and then we made our other thing. I already lost it. I wonder where I put it. You I'm guys. Checking your thing oh good grief, Michelle. It's gotta be right here it's in front of me, right? Thing. Here it is. So then we made this, which I'm really excited, and I think it'll be really cute once we put that fabric, fabric flip. And then, I mean, tons of writing space. Tons of writing space, which is really fun. And I, I like the idea of having a fabric flip here, because then you kind of have to do a couple of little things before you can open it and write in it, you know. That was my idea. So I hope you guys like these. Hope you give them a try. Uh, come back tomorrow for some more eclectic journal making. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps out our channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye guys. Thanks for visiting. Tetzines everyone.